Hello everybody. As I am recording this, it is the 10th of December. So I thought it might be quite nice to do something a bit more seasonal, something that you could easily adapt to make a gift for someone and something that's quite well, relatively simple for a beginner engraver to do. So let's get right on with it. <music> said at the start I thought for this video we could make a seasonal design something that you could add to a number of different pieces of glass to make maybe a last minute present for someone and the design I have pulled together this week is actually it's a very stylized tree Christmas tree image which is just really made up of straight lines so it's very quick to engrave it doesn't need any shading and it's a very good image for beginners to work on and it'll give you something that's really quite stylish and pretty to make it particularly if you want to make a gift for someone. For myself what I'm going to do is engrave that onto a piece of glass like this. Now this is just a section I've cut from a bottle, a wine bottle. So I've cut that out and then ground the edges so that they're smooth and I'm going to engrave the image onto this and in the end I'm going to turn that into a tea light holder. So you'll see that right at the end. To help me engrave this one, I've simply printed out the template and attached it to the inside of the glass. And I'm going to go straight into the workbench and start engraving this. You can see here that I have the template. It's just stuck onto the inside of the bit of glass with a couple of pieces of sticky tape. Nothing fancy at all. And what I have fitted into my Dremel Flexi shaft at the moment is just an old rat's tail burr. Nothing special about it at all. It's a slightly old rat's tail burr and a little bit beaten up. And the reason I'm using an old one is you'll see I don't have any water going at the moment. I don't want to, I don't want to risk making the template wet and the ink running. So I'm having to engrave this dry and because that can damage the burrs on occasion using a diamond burr dry, I'm preferring to use an older burr. Now, the system I'm using here to try to get the lines as straight as possible is I'm going to go over them all with this rat's tail burr. It's only set at a medium speed and I'm really not pressing very hard at all. If I press too hard, there's a chance that it may slip on me. What I'm trying to do is to create a shallow track in the glass where I want the straight lines to be. And once I've been over all of these once, I'll put in a different bar and go back over them again cutting them a little bit deeper and making the lines a little bit thicker. Having laid down this initial track with this rat's tail burr, the next time I engrave over these same lines, the burr is going to want to try to follow the track that's already there. And that's going to help me to keep it as straight as I can possibly make it. Some people, I'm sure, can cut beautifully straight lines without having to go through this process, but I am not one of them. I do tend to wobble a little bit. And I'm going to use exactly the same process on this text here. Now, if you want to make this for yourself, of course you can add any other words that you want. You don't have to use the version that I've attached. You can you know, feel free to change those. If you're going to put your own text on here, you can either just draw it on straight on with a pen if your calligraphy is very good, or you can print something out and stick it on the inside again. But I would recommend that unless you're going to be doing the letters very, very large indeed, I'd recommend that you use a serifless 
font. So no serif on the font. If you try to do this with something like Times New Roman or another serifed font, getting the little straight bits at the bottom can be very difficult. So a serifless font is usually easier. Anyway, back to the engraving. I'm still using my old rat's tail bar and just going over the lines, creating that track, which will help me to get the text in as smoothly as possible when I come back with the next bar. I know there are people out there who can do beautiful calligraphy on glass, lovely sweeping flowing letters. I am not one of them. I have to be a little bit careful, uh, carefully following the template on the glass, going fairly slowly and then going back over it again to try to get a reasonable quality of text. As I say, there are many people who are very, very good at this and wouldn't need to go through this process, but I'm just not one of them. And with that last letter done, I can remove the template and then start the next stage of the engraving. And you'll see when I get this laid down that the, the image and the text are quite clear for me now and easy for me to follow. Now I've changed my bar to a small spherical diamond bar and I now have the water going. This is a slightly better quality bar, but uh, the water will help to protect it. And as I described in the first stage, what I'm doing is using the first set of marks that I cut in to help guide me to do the straight lines for the finished engraving. This image is a really good one to help you practice doing straight lines because straight lines can be very difficult. And the good thing about this one is if they do end up being a little bit wonky, it won't actually matter all that much. They'll still look very good, but it'll give you a chance to practice. And it's always worth practicing these skills so that when the time comes when you need them, then you'll be more confident about doing it. Let's say if you wanted to engrave a building or something with lots of straight lines, it's good if you can be very confident when you approach that. Now you'll see that I'm, I'm really taking my time over this because I want to make this as good and as clear an engraving as I can. Now I've cut a little bit out of the middle of this engraving section for you, just so that it's not too unbearably long for you to watch. But you'll see that I've just continued working my way up the Christmas tree here, gradually deepening the lines and making them the thickness, the weight of line that I want to see. And once I've been over all the lines, I can go back and basically repeat the same process on the text going over all the letters and deepening the engraving. And of course, because it's a spherical bar, as I deepen them, the lines also become just a little bit thicker. So I can, I can impact on the, the thickness and the, the depth of the line at the same time. Now I'm deliberately cutting this really quite deep. The, the glass on the bottle is quite thick, so have the opportunity to do that. If you're doing this on a, a wine glass or something like that, maybe the glass won't be so thick. So just be careful about how deeply you engrave things. But I've deliberately chosen to make these quite heavy lines. 
One thing you might choose to do yourself is not to make them so heavy, to make them much thinner, lighter lines. And that obviously impacts on the final look of the engraving. So that's one way that you can make this engraving your own. You can choose for yourself how heavy, how thick you want the lines to be, and that will impact on how the final engraving looks. And I've just continued the process of going over the lines until we get along to the last letter. The last little letter T here. Now if I give it a, a wipe and a dry off you'll be able to see the engraving a little bit more clearly. And here's how it looks when it's all finished. It's cut quite deeply. The lines are quite heavy, but I think that will look nice in the tea light holder. And what I've done is I've made a, a little base for it from a piece of wood here. And if I just drop that in there and add a candle into the middle, I have a tea light holder. And this is how it looks once it's all finished and lit up. The engraving catches the light from the candle quite nicely. So that's this little tea light all finished. And as you can see, the design is not a difficult one to engrave. It does need a bit of a steady hand, but it's good to practice doing those straight lines. And it's a design that you can easily add on to other things, make a nice little gift for someone perhaps. If you would like to use the template, you'll find a copy of it attached in the description. Feel free to download that and use that for your own engraving. I hope you've enjoyed the video and that you'll come back and watch my next one. Thank you.